Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a fixed blade to open. Um, if you've looked at the thumbnail or whatever it's called, the description, the title, <laughs> you'll have seen that this is a Wurtz made fixed blade. It's the Falcon model, and I'm really stoked about this. So I've been following uh, Wurtz made, Randy, on Instagram for quite a while now. Uh, I would say at least six months, maybe closer to a year that I've actively been following his page and, and seeing the knives that he makes. And as somebody who spends a decent amount of time outdoors, I really enjoy good fixed blades. <laughs> so I follow quite a few fixed blade makers, but I don't buy as many fixed blades as I do folders, just because even though I hike a couple of times a week, I put folders in my pocket times two <laughs> every day and sometimes I switch midday and even when I'm hiking I usually have a folder in addition to my fixed blade and I just I have more experiences with folders all the time although a lot of my hardest use tasks are with my fixed blades outdoors so I genuinely love and appreciate fixed blades and uh, Words Made is one of those companies or makers that has had my attention for a while and uh, I wasn't genuinely at the moment like really in the market per se for another fixed blade because I kind of feel like I have most of my bases covered on fixed blades. Um, but that said, I have kind of had the itch a little bit <laughs> where I've been wanting a new one. And uh, I was lucky actually, JB from Big Red EDC kind of introduced me to Randy and we had a conversation. And the result of that conversation is that this was in my mailbox for me to check out and review. So I super appreciate where it's made for sending this. Um, he provided this to the channel for a review, but I ended up spending I don't know, it was probably close to an hour on the phone with the guy. And uh, he's just a really cool, nice, down-to-earth dude. And I appreciated his kind of outlook both on the way he makes knives and the way he sees the community. And he just struck me as a really cool guy. And uh, as always, when I bring in a piece of gear, <laughs> when I agree to take one for review, um, I explained to him that it's very important to me that I retain the ability to be totally open and honest uh, with anything that I may find to be a flaw or a feature that I don't like, whether it's opinion or otherwise, I, I need to have the autonomy to give a proper review. And I've talked about this in a couple of platforms lately, but to me, I think that's a really important thing to understand. If you're watching my channel and I get a piece of gear <laughs> that was gifted to the channel for me to review, the maker understands before they send because of the conversation that I have with them that the, what they're getting is a review. They're not getting a promotion where I just talk about positives and I leave out all negatives. They're getting a review. So Randy was awesome about that and he even seemed to appreciate it, which I think is great. Uh, he seems like somebody who's open to getting feedback and he listens and I just really liked him. So all of that said, we're going to go ahead and bust into this and check it out. He did send me a picture of this knife um, as he was sending it, so I know what it looks like in theory, but this will be my first time seeing it. So I am very excited. <laughs> um, the uh, the knives that he makes, he uses a, a variety of materials, and I, I just keep being really impressed <laughs> when I see how many different builds he uses like especially for his handle materials wild micartas cool g10s just layers of things and and really cool stuff and i'm also stoked that I, with the level of like product he's just a guy <laughs> who's making knives i don't know how big his shop is or whatever but i feel like the attention that he puts into his packaging is really over the top for how uh, for the scale of his company this knife packaging is way better than many uh, like big brand companies that I've experienced. I'd say this box just on the outside, and we'll see what the inside looks like in a moment, but just this box is nicer than what a lot of the, the biggest knife companies out there are currently using. So I really dig it. Get this. It's a thick decal too that's got it taped shut. All right, let's bust it into here. Oh yeah, so look at this. You open the box to find this cut piece of foam that says what, enjoy the adventure? I'm trying to read it on my monitor over there. But it's like this topographical map cut piece of foam. That's an awesome extra step that lines the top of the box. And then there's these stickers in here. Let me show you these stickers. So we've got where it's made sticker right there. We've got a different 
where it's made sticker right here. And these are cool looking stickers. I feel like these are very kind of my speed um, or my aesthetic, if you will. Here's another one. Really, really cool stuff. And then in here, the knife is in this really nice, not just like this kind of burlap pouch, but it's literally, this is also branded. Like all these little touches add up and uh, I'm always kind of on the fence. Sometimes I like, I dig it when makers take the stance of like, I don't do fancy packaging. I put all the effort into the knife. That's cool. But there is also something that happens when you open a product that has phenomenal packaging <laughs> that just makes you feel, um, I don't know, a little bit like you treated yourself or like it's just like you're worth it. And like the item inside has to be worth more because the packaging is so nice that contains it. I don't know. It's a psychological thing for sure. But let's look here. So we've got a little kind of ownership card handcrafted by Randy Wirtz. Date 121. Hardness 63. That's awesome to see that he lists his hardness on here. Uh, steel type on this one is AEBL, which I think is a newer steel for him. I know he's used a lot of Nitro V in the past. And uh, yeah, I think I've seen one or two other steels from him, but I'm excited that this one is AEBL because I frankly really like AEBL, but I don't have that much experience with it. So I'm excited to kind of feel out the steel a little more than I have before. And at 63 HRC, that should be sweet. Model is the Gen 2 Falcon. So nice little ownership card in here and it matches. You've got like this topographical print on here. I think his logo is also tasteful and looks really cool. Just really cool stuff. So let me put these stickers back in here so I don't lose those. How sweet is this? I, I mean, it's just genuinely one of the better packaging experiences. All right, let's bust into this little pouch here and see the knife itself. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so he did, like I said, send me a picture of this. Before I pull it out of the sheath, you'll already see it's this like orange and black stack G10 or layer G10 that just looks excellent to me. And this sheath is really nice. I feel like he has someone make these. Southbound leather, I think is what it says. Yeah, so really, really nice sheath. I also respect when makers like aren't into making sheaths when they use like a friend of theirs who's a really good leather worker or kydex worker or something. And uh, I find some of the best sheaths that come with fixed blades oftentimes are when the makers pair with somebody who like that's their passion it's a really cool thing so this sheath feels really nice this is also a little slimmer than i think in my mind's eye this whole thing was going to be i like that <laughs> i uh, i find slimness to be a welcome quality for me let's pull this out oh yeah that's gorgeous all right so we've got these like stone washed flats on here and then satin grinds like belt satin look at that and then the swedge too <laughs> it's gorgeous um, the finishing is fantastic like his makers mark tastefully right there and then this side is just sterile really really good looking knife the edge on it is fantastic that's a really really sharp edge and this grind so I like that it's a reasonable thickness blade stock. It's not like overly thick for no reason. I find some fixed blades, they just like slap the thickest blade stock possible on because it's a fixed blade. That's a, genuinely unnecessary to me. And this is meant to be like an outdoorsman's knife. And so the size and the profile of it with this thickness and then this flat grind, it's really, really nice. That is a sweet flat. And then the swedge too. It feels like you could probably strike a fire steel with this kind of top corner up here as well. Oh man. Yeah, everything is even, like perfectly even. There's a little patch of jimping that's less aggressive than I was thinking it was gonna be in photos. I'm pleasantly surprised by that. A nice sharpening choil. Yeah, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife and a fantastic design. This G10 has a really good texture to it as well. All right, I'm getting into the weeds without meaning to. I'll be doing a first impressions on this guy um, after I do probably a little cutting around the house with it because it is meant to be not only a knife that is capable of being outdoors, but it is also meant to be everyday carryable. And uh, apparently quite a few people do EDC these from what I've seen and from what I've heard. So I will try um, having it on my belt as an EDC. 
at least once or twice. But I think where this is destined for me, frankly, is probably more in the role of being an outdoor knife. And uh, I think it's going to be sweet, especially this sheath makes me excited because I really like when the profile is thin <laughs> for knives that are on my belt while I'm outdoors. Because I, when I'm hiking, I'm like heavily mobile <laughs> and I have a backpack with hip straps and chest straps that some of the time I am strapping on and to have a knife that's tight to my body and feels comfortable there is very important. So this I think will probably do quite well. Just gorgeous too. I'm glad that he went with the black sheath on this as well. I know he also offers a like a brown leather sheath, but this is just fantastic. Look at that sucker. I'm thrilled. So it's out of the box. We've done what we set out to do in this video. There will be a first impression soon and then ultimately a full review. I want to thank Randy again over at Wirtz Made um, for providing this full review. I'm thrilled about it. I'm really, really genuinely excited. This feels great to me and uh, I'm going to have fun with it. We're going to see what it's made of a little bit. We're going to get it outdoors and, and uh, do some field testing like I enjoy doing with fixed blades when they do come through for, for review. So it's going to be a lot of fun, I hope. And uh, in the meantime, uh, Randy and Words Made will be linked down below. I'll link to his Instagram. I believe he has a website as well. Um, anything that I can find to link to him at will be linked down below in the description. So if you're not familiar with him or following him on Instagram yet, definitely check him out. Um, this is also obviously a great representation of the Falcon model that he makes. But uh, if you look on his Instagram, there's a huge variety in terms of like handle materials especially that I just nerd out on. I genuinely love his Instagram feed for the micarta and stuff that he uses and the way he finishes it. And it's just really cool to see his process as a maker. And uh, he posts phenomenal photos. So check him out if you haven't. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, guys.